The year is 1912. 2,435 bright-eyed passengers from competing social classes board humanity's greatest feat of engineering, the 46,328-ton, six-engine, deck-chair-filled, lifeboat-deficient, unsinkable behemoth, the Titanic. Among these 2,435 are two young, star-crossed, soon-to-be lovers. Jack, a lowly artist with a knack for sketching salacious scribblings of passionate Parisian ladies, and Rose, of an affluent young woman with voyeuristic fantasies that just so happen to involve struggling artists and a 1912 Coupe de Ville. Rose is set to be married to Cal, a rich 1912-flavored douchebag who gives her the heart of the ocean, a necklace that today would be worth around $250 million. After falling for Jack's dreamy eyes and aptitude for arts and crafts, Rose gives the blue net diamond necklace back to Cal. Then, uh-oh, the boat sinks. Rose eventually winds up with, in possession of the diamond necklace. The movie ends with Rose revealing to the audience that she still has the diamond necklace, and she just plops it into the ocean while making a joke sound effect in complete disregard for the multi-million dollar expedition whose literal sole purpose was to recover the diamond necklace now oh. at least the expedition knows yeah no it's definitely down there <laughs> If Rose wasn't the worst, could she have created an estate plan to bequeath the heart of the ocean to her daughter um, or the expedition team? Of course. Can you bequeath stolen property? I can proffer two things. One, yeah. who's going to testify that she stole it? He's dead. So, yeah, and that's my other question is <laughs> right. well, if he well, dies. Well, here's where it comes out, right? Yeah. If somebody all of a sudden shows up with a $250 million famous necklace that you know your great, great uncle had yeah well, well obviously also, you're gonna pursue that but but he's just not a stranger there's, there's no there's no proof that she stole it there's no proof it wasn't a gift she could say it was a gift but gotcha. honestly if you're rose i mean rose is a pretty solid case she yeah. was dating him he gave it to her once mm -hmm. it's not yeah. as if yeah that's a great point did he did he rescind the gift so she gives it back to him she rescinds but did the he gift. accept it back uh <laughs> she puts it in a safe and then he accepts it back yes okay but i don't think a jury would know that prove it yeah that's <laughs> if i'm if Alleged. i'm rose i'm like yeah. where's your evidence yeah. but i will say this yeah. if i'm rose and i've got this 250 million dollar necklace unless my heirs are freaking loaded i'm not gonna just gift them this necklace i'm gonna have it like sold and give them the money because okay. me as a practical person she, like she, unless i am a multi-billionaire i'm not gonna have 250 million dollars tied up in a piece of jewelry maybe okay. it's a maybe yeah, it's some, maybe the value doesn't matter to her maybe it's entirely sentimental value she, she, no, she and that's like, exactly what like, it is i never thought it might be worth that much money i'm not an expert in girl she is a diamond the size of a bird's head well, how, how a large you know bird. They could have had. I don't know. Whatever the 1912 what version. You, what did you think it was? Glass. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been a 1912. Version. Yeah, I think that yeah. she she certainly could bequeath that to one of her heirs. One of Cal's heirs could try to attack whether she yes. had the right to do that. Gotcha. But. That doesn't prevent her from bequeathing it. It just might affect the ability of her heirs to keep to, it. Yeah, all the all the taint of the all the not the taint all the all the cloud of that ownership yeah. still carries. But you carries can bet you? at two hundred and fifty million dollars, <laughs> they're gonna try. Guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of Let's Talk About Death and Taxes. If you enjoyed this, uh, definitely let us know in the comments. Guys, our law firm is focused on setting people up and helping them out with legacy preservation, anything involving last wills, trusts, and estate planning. Um, we also created a PDF, um, and that's linked in the comments below, and uh, James is going to tell you about it. Yeah, so we went ahead and put together a brief PDF format pamphlet, and this is a primer for somebody who is new to thinking about estate planning. It's going to tell you what it is, and it's also going to go through three common mistakes that people make when they think about estate planning, and it's going to be titled something like that. <laughs> so go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's pretty accessible, and read it over. If you have any questions or if it makes you think about anything, give us a call. See if we can help you out. Yeah, you can also work with us straight away if you give us a call at 404-939-7562 or send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com. Guys, if, also, if you could share this video on your timeline, that seriously helps us out. Guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.